OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to change the format of dates. We'll do US to European or UK format, then the other way around. We'll also look at dates that won't format and we'll look at some custom formatting for dates. So for example, you could show the day of the week as part of your date format. So these are currently in US format. I want to change them to UK format. So I select the cells and then you can right click format cells or use the shortcut key control one. So in this dialog box, you'll see that the location that's currently being used is United States. All I need to do is change that location to the United Kingdom, choose a format from this list, click on OK, and I have the correct format. We can do the same the other way around. So these are in UK format. If I want to change them to US format, after I've selected the dates, control one on my keyboard, and I change the location to United States and choose a format from this list. So that's relatively easy. But if I try to do the same thing here, select these dates and I go to date and let's say I wanted the dates in US format, make sure that was selected, choose a format, click on OK, doesn't make any difference to the dates. You'll also notice that the dates are on the left of the cells, which means they're stored as text values, which is the problem. So with the cells selected, this is what you do. You go to the data tab on your ribbon. You go over to this button, text to columns. You click next on this step. Make sure nothing is selected in this list of checkboxes. Something like tab is probably selected by default. Go to next. And then you want to select date here. And the selection that you make in this drop down list depends on the format of the dates you have here. So I have day, month, year. So I would stick with this selection. But you can see you've got month, day, and year, year, month, and date, etc. So whatever the layout of your dates is, you must select in this list. So then you click on finish and it converts those text dates to proper dates. What you can then do is go into the format cells dialog box, so control one, and you can change the date format to whatever you so desire. Now let's look at some custom formatting. So we might want to show the day of the week in our dates. So if we select those dates, control one on the keyboard, what we would do here is go to custom and we're looking in this type box where we can see the current date format for our dates. So what I'm going to do is delete everything but the first two Ds. And if you watch the sample box, I'm going to type another D. So I can see that this date is a Wednesday. If I type another D, I get Wednesday in a non-abbreviated form. Space D, it gives me the number of the day of the month. And then I'm going to type M once, twice, three times, and you can see I get an abbreviated month. Four times I get the full name of the month. Space Y, Y, Y is enough to give me the year. Click on OK. Might need to widen the column, but there we have the dates in the required format. 